Good weekend uh, for Ohio State football, I guess. Well, they had Friday night lights, which ended up being moved indoors, which a little bit of a bummer. But uh, nonetheless, we've talked a lot about the fact that Ohio State's uh, recruiting class in terms of quarterbacks was a little thin. They didn't have anybody in the 2019 class. They do now. Uh, Dewan Mathis flips from Michigan State uh, and is now part of the Ohio State recruiting class. Although I will point out, and we have uh, Ryan McGlade of Buckeye Sports Bowl and joining us. Ryan, I guess we shouldn't like uh, shoot off fireworks or anything yet because A, it's a verbal commitment, and B, as I understand it, reading your stuff, he actually was committed to Iowa State earlier too. So this is two different places that he's flipped from. So hopefully for Ohio State fans, it is a, a secure commitment, but you never know till the ink's dry, right, Ryan? Exactly. You took the words right out of my mouth, Matt. Um, I mean, yeah, he was committed to Michigan State since September until just yesterday. And then, like uh, like we, you mentioned, he was committed to Iowa State before that. So um, nothing is for sure until – uh, early design, early signing period, at least in December. Uh, uh, but yeah, nothing is nothing is for sure until then. What is it about uh, this kid that Ohio State liked? Uh, I saw the the offer didn't come until May third. Obviously, they were looking for a quarterback. But but what jumps out about him? What makes him a uh, a prospect that the Michigan States, the Ohio States of the world wanted? Uh, I think for one, his size. Uh, right now, he's six five, and I think about one ninety five. So. I'm sure they'd like to see him get some uh, put on a few more pounds, but I think his size for sure uh, for right now. Um, and then I just Ohio State seems to be going more toward like a pro style of a quarterback, but um, hmm. I guess he, he he more so fits that mold. But he still can run the ball very well. He kind of if you watch any of his tape or anything, he kind of um, the way he runs it kind of almost reminds you of uh, Terrell Pryor to Terrell Pryor just how he glides and kind of does like the stutter step to, you know, get around defenders and stuff. But, um, and then he has pretty good arm strength as well. Uh, not, not like Cardell Jones, of course, but uh, still has pretty decent arm strength and he, he, he can be pretty accurate on the short to intermediate passes and then, um, and then pretty accurate on the deep throws. So, um, of course, you know, there are some things that Ohio State would like to work with him on, yep. but, uh, he definitely has, you know, the, uh, he definitely has like the mold they want. You know, you know Ohio State's offense is Ohio State's offense, uh, and Urban Meyer's always going to ha- want to stand have that dual threat quarterback. But to Ryan's point, and and Ryan jump in on this too, is this? Do you think Stan um, a Ryan Day influence to recruit more pocket passer type quarterbacks? It could be him and Coach Wilson. I mean, you think about the co- the quarterbacks he's had at Indiana. They have to be mobile, though, because he's never going to ab- totally abandon the zone read. But here's the other component to that is recruiting. You want really good receivers? They got to feel like you got a guy that's going to get them the ball. Yeah, right? you, you can't have a Michael Bishop back there, so to speak. So <laughs> I, I think it's all those components coming together. And they, I think they would love to have the best of both worlds. And and that's you know, really what we had with JT Barrett and, you know, what you get with Dwayne Haskins. I mean, he's not going to run for 1,000 yards, but he's effective when he runs the ball. Well, speaking of uh, receivers, Ryan, that they had, in my understanding, some really good receivers in on Friday Night Lights, correct? Oh, they did, yes. Yes, they did. Uh, actually, a few from uh, the St. Louis area. Um, a, a, few, a few guys, most of the guys from the 2019 class, a couple guys from the uh, – 2020 class but Mm -hmm. um jameson williams he was one a lot of people think he's gonna uh he's an ohio state commit at some point another one marcus washington again both of those guys are from the st louis area uh let's see there's now i'm thinking too fast cj boone is another one Mm -hmm. Um, he actually picked up an offer while he was in while he was on campus this weekend so yeah there was certainly a definitely um a wide receiver presence at this Friday Night Lights camp for sure. I'm visiting with uh, Ryan McGlade, uh, Buckeye Sports Bulletin. Uh, again, a commitment for Ohio State over the weekend uh, with Dewan Mathis. Four-star product out of Oak Park, Michigan. Was committed to Michigan State, now to Ohio State. And what are we up to now? Uh, 12 commitments, I believe, in this 2019 class. Uh, everybody always wants to know and there's a long way to go and they're just uh, verbal commitments. But where... Is this t- is this class right now? How is it sizing up at, in terms of national rankings, Big Ten rankings right now, Ryan? 
I know nationally it's in the it's number ten in the two four seven rankings. Uh, among the Big Ten, I don't know off the top of my head, but I mean if it's number ten nationally, it has to be one mm-hmm. or two in the Big Ten. Um, and yeah, like you said, they have twelve right now. It's people always want to know how many how many guys can Ohio State take in each class, and like you know, it never really there, there's never really a set number. It's always I, I think it's more so of a question like. People should more so be concerned. Like Ohio State wants to get these certain guys, and if it's 22 guys, it's 22 guys. If it's 25 guys, it's 25. The bigger question is, can Ohio State get down to 85? You know, by August. That's the, that's the, I think that's the bigger question people need to worry about um, with each recruiting class. It's not so much. Obviously, they can't go down and take 40 kids, something like that. But like, whether it's 22, 25, 23, that that's kind of splitting hairs more so concerned about you should be more so concerned about how Ohio State's getting down to 85 uh, yeah August how much is that part of the game now uh, not only with Ohio State but uh, but all over I mean we saw the run of guys transferring after spring football where you know and, and coach Meyer said after the spring game we'll have individual meetings with guys and I, you know, you and I, Ryan, aren't privy to exactly what is said in there, but you can surmise that they might say to a guy, look, you know, you're really not, your opportunity to play here is pretty much gone. You may want to look somewhere else. And we always see like three, four, five guys transfer at the end of spring football. Uh, now, Joe Burrow's case was a little bit different, but is that part of... When we when we look at the size of these recruiting classes, how much is what happens in the spring determine what the size of the recruiting class is going to be? I mean, yeah, definitely. Uh, you have to, um, like you said. I mean, like that's just some of these conversations. And I think with kids like, uh, let me Antonio Williams, for example. He, um, you know, he was with Ohio State, but then he transferred to North Carolina uh, the, earlier this spring. You know, I'm sure Ohio State, the coaches had a conversation with him saying, hey, you know, um, right now J.K. Dobbins and Mike Weber are number one and number two guys, however you want to put it. And then we've got other guys coming in. So you, you, your time your time here has probably passed. And, he's, you know, you're probably better off looking elsewhere. And it's it kind of works out for both parties in a sense where, you know, Ohio State can open up a scholarship and then the kid, whoever it may be, can go to a different school and get playing time there. But um, yeah, definitely. It's it. <laughs> it's uh, there's. It's part of the game. I mean, it, it is. absolutely is. And just, I mean, yep. you know, and like the high state coaches, they hate to say it, but like they hate to see kids go. But that's just it's just the nature of the beast anymore. It's just, I mean, in order to be on top, you got to recruit the best kids, and that's how you have to stay on top. Uh, a quick thing before we go, uh, in terms of this recruiting class now, as you mentioned, 12 commitments and now in the top 10, uh, nationally, um, are there any commitment announcements? Are there, are there players that, uh, fans should keep their eye on here over the next, I don't know, week or two, maybe, maybe people that were at uh, Friday night lights that you have a good indication, maybe ready to make a decision. And, and if there are, who, who should people be looking at? Uh, well, speaking of Friday Night Lights, he's not in the 2019 class, but 2020 class. He's uh, his name is Jack Miller. He's a quarterback out of Arizona. Um, he was at he was at a high state. He was at Friday Night Lights, you know, this past weekend. And the uh, high state has been at the top of his list for quite some time. And I think now it's just a matter of uh, when he'll commit to a high state, not if. Mm. Um, but uh-huh. again, he's from the 2020 class, not 2019 class. Another one from the 2020 class. Um, I don't believe he was here Friday Night Lights, but he was at uh, one of the one of these other one day camps in June. Uh, uh, Legend Gavasas, mm-hmm. he's down. He's from down in Florida. He's announcing this week. Uh, a lot of people think it'll be Ohio State as well there. Um, but then, let me see. I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if there are like. Um, Announcements from 2019 kids that are imminent. Uh, I don't know. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to think. That's all right. If there are any dates, um, I think if anyone has like set up a date. Well, typically, soon, t- I mean, there there are some in August, but yeah, uh, nothing nothing coming to my mind right now for like this week or 
you know, next couple of weeks. Well, typically, you know, we always get them. And uh, those 2020, boy, kids are committing sooner and sooner uh, all the yes, time. Yes, they are. <laughs> and uh, he wants a quarterback – uh, at least one in every class. So uh, to get the 2021 out of the way, if indeed that happens in the next week, that'll that'll certainly be good for Ohio State. Uh, hey, Ryan, appreciate the information. Um, uh, it's uh, always good to talk to you, and thanks for taking a few minutes. Absolutely, Matt. Thanks for having me on.